Hey everyone, Vince here. Welcome back to another Let's Talk Money Making Apps episode. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's kick this off. First up, let's talk about Receipt Jar. So everyone, Receipt Jar is that money making app that promises real cash for your receipts for shopping. Now, is it actually real or a scam? A few weeks ago, I actually put that to the test and redeemed a cash out on Receipt Jar. Now you'll notice here I have 1,480 points. And this is the actual withdrawal page of Receipt Jar. You can see here I have 100% of the minimum cash out of $5 worth of currency. Well, everyone, to give you guys an update of my Receipt Jar cash out, I'm happy to say that yes, they did pay me. I just had to contact their support because there was an issue with my account apparently being inactive. So what that means is that essentially you have to use the app a number of times throughout the month or they might put you into an inactive status. But the main thing to take away here is that Receipt Jar at the time of this recording is 100% legit. Essentially, you can earn about a dollar per week, it seems, by uploading your receipts because there is a weekly limit. Keep in mind that limit is about 120 points, at least here in Australia, and you need 1,000 points minimum. Something worth mentioning, once you go over 120 points for the week, you only get five points per receipt you upload. So it is quite a slow way to earn, but at least it's real. Next up, we have M Crypto, play to earn crypto. Recently, M Crypto's had a huge update, everyone, and now it actually supports PayPal cash outs. So this is what the new M Crypto looks like. At the top of the screen, you have your account balance, the playtime rewards area, the available surveys that will pay you a certain amount of coins to complete them, the offer wall section, and of course, surveys area. They also have a scratchy area where you can scratch and earn prizes, but you have to download new games and play them for a single minute in order to unlock one. You can see here, I've obviously played it in the past and earned various amounts of the coin currency. Let's go check out the cash out options in the bottom right corner of the screen. So here are all the different cash out options M Crypto now supports. It's actually very, very cool to see that the developer's still updating this app. You have your Tether currency, your new PayPal currency, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, and then Ripple. Let's check out the PayPal currency area now. So here are the minimums. 21,000 of the coins equals $2 worth of currency on PayPal. 48,000 equals $5. And 94,000 equals $10. So pretty much you're looking at a total of about eight to 10,000 coins converting into $1 worth of United States currency. The last time I cashed down M Crypto, I have no worries whatsoever in getting paid. So now I thought I'll at least let you guys know they do have a PayPal cash out. You can see I have some surveys that are willing to pay me almost a dollar or half a dollar there instantly. I have two different applications on their playtime rewards area both willing to pay me different amounts of coins. Empires and Puzzles willing to pay me up to $2 almost. Galaxiga is willing to pay me almost a dollar. They feature four different offer wall providers as well, as well as three different survey providers. Last time I used M Crypto, they paid me in about five days or so to my crypto account, by the way. And I'm sure it's probably the same thing for PayPal. Next, we have Money Turn, Play and Invest. So everyone with Money Turn, Play and Invest, recently I completely drained my account by doing a massive cash out for you all, okay? And on today's video, I'm gonna let you know exactly what happened with that cash out. Not only that though, if you guys don't actually know what Money Turn is, it's a very straightforward play and earn application. You can see here, we simply have a whole bunch of these game applications that we can install to generate coins per minute. If I install Tower Color, I get paid 64 coins every single minute I play it. Now, obviously certain applications are going to pay better than others. Usually it depends completely on your country, really what the pay rates are going to be for these type of play and earn apps. But you can see here, I currently have 7,000 coins in my balance. And because it's a new week, everyone, my investor level is zero. Yeah, I have to play a game and get rewarded to get a 3% interest on my investment. And if you're wondering what the investment is, it's my account balance. But because I have a level zero investment level, I now have zero coins that will be rewarded at the end of the week. Let me just install Tower Color quickly. At least then I can show you exactly what happens before I give you my update. All right, so Tower Color is installed. Let me let it run for a few minutes. I'll be back soon. Alrighty, we're back. My investor level is now one. I'm now generating that 3% on my balance, which entitles me to free 216 coins. Now, obviously, when you have a balance that's over 100,000 of the coins, that's when you start generating some pretty decent free cash. And I am happy to say, everyone, my recent cash out the other day did come through without any issues within 24 hours. 
So the time of this recording, Money Turn is, is still a solid application in my opinion. Remember though, the only downside is the country you live in is going to determine the amount of coins you get from these games. Hopefully you get a decent amount and then you can just keep on bulking them up over and over again. Next up, let's talk about the DigiWard developers. DigiWards, CoinPlix, Wii Points, and Lovely Plants are now back on the Play Store. If you have these apps on your phone, you'll have to manually re-enable them again, everyone. Essentially, there was a huge virus scandal recently with these developers, but people don't realize it's not only them, it's actually over 100 apps as well. The sad thing is most of these apps were all scam apps, but some real developers got caught up in it also. I recently cashed out in Lovely Plants and I was paid my $50 USD without any issues whatsoever, even amidst all that virus scam scandal. The problem is, guys, you have developers that are trying to make money any way they can throughout their app, and sometimes they might cut corners or install things they know probably aren't the best options, but they know it generates money for them, so they keep it in their app. And then situations like this happen. But then, of course, you have developers that blatantly know that, of course, OK Spin was a scam, and they put it in their scam apps. If you guys want to have the breakdown of what OK Spin was essentially doing, pretty much it was spying on your phone. It had access to your data. It could actually transfer images and video files from your phone to the scammer's servers. And they had access to your clipboard as well. So if you copy and paste passwords, they had access to your clipboard. I actually understand completely if people don't want to ever use DigiWards apps again for that breach of security. By the end of the day, Google seems to have gone through and actually removed most of these scam apps and made the developers that have these scam offer walls in them get rid of them to comply to go back on the Play Store. It just shows you how easy people get scammed on the Google Play Store still, even in 2023. It's terrible stuff, everyone. But I am confident to say that the DigiWards developers still do pay, at least here in Australia and in my own experience, because now that we've seen even legitimate developers can still put these scams or Trojan viruses into their apps either willingly or unwillingly. And what that means is that us the players are the ones to get screwed over sadly. Next, we have Cash Piggy, aka Earn Money Paid Cash Surveys. Cash Piggy is an application I feel a lot of people don't even realize exists out there. It's a very basic survey application, but it does also have a playtime rewards area. This is what Cash Piggy actually looks like. You can see we have the playtime rewards area, CPX research surveys, in brain surveys, and even BitLab surveys. Top right corner of the screen, we have the points area, which is your balance. This is the redemption area of Cash Piggy. It actually has quite a low minimum cash out, which is fantastic for a survey or money making application in general. One dollar worth of Amazon is 250 of the points. Whereas the minimum for PayPal is $3 USD for 600 points. And obviously, the lower you go down the list, the more points you're going to need for the higher amount of withdrawn money. It's pretty straightforward, everyone. I'm sure you guys understand the concept of this. You can find my referral code in the description below, by the way, if you want to join. You simply enter it into the app and get free 10 points for nothing. Their playtime rewards area, though, is quite limited with only two applications here, at least for myself in Australia. So maybe in your own country, you may get better or even worse. This slots error app will pay me a total of up to 176 points, whereas Lords Mobile will award me with 108 points. CPX research is definitely an area you wanna look at first on Cash Piggy if you can. You can see here we have prices on the survey up to 189 points. Obviously keeps going lower the lower I go down here, but the prices you're seeing are actually above average in my opinion, at least for CPX research or about the area where they should be. CPX research is definitely the first area you wanna look at on Cash Piggy if you can. They usually have the highest rewards for the surveys. You can see here, I'm generally getting about $2 almost for each of the surveys available on CPX research. Obviously the lower you go though, the less amount of the points you're going to generate. Again, pretty straightforward concept. The last time I withdrew on Cash Piggy, they paid me without any issues within a few days. Definitely a little application that you should check out if you have the time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all tomorrow for another video. Stay safe out there.